One of the most exciting new vehicle debuts of the last couple years is this, the Audi RS6 Avant Super Station Wagon. This is one hell of a cool vehicle, but believe it or not, it's not the first high performance station wagon that Audi has ever built. Americans have been denied every previous variant of the RS6 Avant, but luckily, Audi brought me up to Canada to drive all of the previous generations back to back with this monster. Follow along and I wanna show you some of the coolest features of each of them. Every previous generation has a distinct personality, but they all share a high performance long roof swagger that is just so intoxicating and fun to drive. First stop, the original. This is the Audi RS6 Avant, codenamed C5. Now, we actually got a version of the C5 RS6 in America, but it only came as a sedan, not this fantastic station wagon variant. Every RS6 came with a 4.2 liter twin turbocharged V8 under the hood that made about 450 horsepower, good for a zero to 60 time in well under five seconds. Unfortunately, like many Audis of old, the entire engine is well forward of the front axle, which does do some harm to the weight distribution. However, the RS6 does its best to compensate with quattro all-wheel drive and a sophisticated brake-based differential that keeps wheel spin low in tight corners. This C6 generation is possibly my favorite of the entire RS6 lineup. This comes with a 5-liter twin-turbocharged V10, which is very similar to the unit that you find in the Lamborghini Gallardo and Audi R8 of the time. However, with those two turbochargers, it makes a staggering 571 horsepower. Of course, like the C5, the engine is well forward of the front axle. That means you have all 10 cylinders from about here forward. It doesn't matter though when you're driving down the road. If you're on a nice long straightaway, a highway, or the Autobahn perhaps, you just tow into the throttle and this thing pushes you into the back of your seat like nothing else. Now, if you press the issue, Audi will admit that there were some dynamic compromises with this V10 powered monster, which is why when they designed the C7 RS6, they wanted to make it handle as well as it went in a straight line. That means they gave it a four liter twin turbocharged V8 with 560 horsepower in base form or 605 horsepower in this particular vehicle's performance form. The engine was lighter and mounted further back in the chassis, giving it better weight distribution. If the V10 is an intercontinental ballistic missile, this is a Sidewinder rocket. That brings us to now. This is the latest and greatest Audi RS6 Avant. It's got a four liter twin turbocharged V8 under the hood, and it might have a little bit less power than the C7 performance variant, but still, 600 ponies is nothing to sneeze at. This is also just as dynamic and exciting to drive as all of its forebears, and it's stuffed with all of the modern technology that you've come to expect from Audi. It's just a brilliant driving, brilliant looking machine, and I'm so glad that we finally have an RS6 Avant of our very own in the United States. Here's the thing though, as phenomenal as this vehicle is, you can drive the first, the last, or any of the RS6s in between, and you'll still be rewarded with a wonderful GT car experience. Fantastic long distance legs with a strong dose of handling when the time comes. I can't think of a better way to cruise down a lonely Canadian road than in one of these vehicles.